There's a term in bowling, and that term is called a king pin. The king pin is the king bowling pin. Once a professional bowler hits that bowling pin, all the rest of the bowling pins will fall down because the king pin is the ping pin that you hit that causes all the rest of them to fall. Well, just like in bowling, there are king pin habits, habits that once directly acted upon, they affect the rest of the positive habits in our lives. I call these habits the kingpin habits. Well, I got a habit, a kingpin habit in particular, of waking up early in the morning, making sure that when I get up, I'm spending time with God in the morning, making sure that when I get up in the morning that I'm actually intentional of, of writing out my goals or looking at my mission statement or making sure that I'm working out, I'm drinking water, I'm making sure that when I go about my day, my kingpin habit of waking up early, my kingpin habit of making sure that I'm making sure that my business is in shape, my kingpin habit of designated time to get things done. That is the habit that allows me to do so many other things. Waking up early. When I discovered that kingpin habit, I discovered that in my personal life, that it has boosted my productivity. Right, and I learned that early in life as a kid. I remember I told you, I worked in the farms since I was a little kid from eight to 18 years old, getting up early for the break of day. You working a sweat in the sun, in the heat, right? We don't get the opportunity to get food from the farms that end up in your plate to feed your families, right? If I'm not getting up, then going out to the farms, right? And making that a habit. If we're not getting up early, somebody's not eating. And the same thing happens in my business. If I don't get up, and I don't figure out the ways to engage in revenue producing activities, if I'm not engaging in income producing activities, I cannot knock out the other kingpin habits in my life. And that first thing starts, I'm, I'm getting up early in the morning, right? I told you, I get up early in the morning. I'm making sure that I'm listening to something positive. I'm going on my morning prayer walk. I'm making sure that I'm also engaging and just editing and spending time with handling business stuff. And then throughout the day, if I gotta go to meetings, if I gotta write stuff, if I gotta make these videos, it's gotta happen. But it all first starts with the first kingpin habit. So you gotta figure out what those main habits are for you, for your situation. We gotta identify, yo, what are the habits that's leading me to do good habits, right? And what are the kingpin habits that are opening other habits that help me to be competent so I can be committed to making sure that I'm successful for the rest of my day. As I was thinking about the idea of a kingpin habit, I was thinking about the fact that like, one of the kingpin habits I would also say is being committed to exercise, right? Getting up and being committed to doing some sort of physical activity. I may not go to a gym to be honest, y'all. I may just stay in my room and I'm just doing like 10, 12 burpees. I'll do 10, 12 burpees, 50 push-ups, some pull-ups, some sit-ups in the house. And maybe I'm doing some push-ups and sit-ups or I'm walking around the house. I'm getting 10,000 steps. I'm committed to physical activities because I know that as a human being, when I am optimized in my physical health, it makes me a better business person. It makes me a better brother. It makes me a better speaker. And also, me having the kingpin habit of being in better shape helps me show up as a professional. So when I show up as a professional, my mind is clear because I worked out this morning. My mind is clear because I'm making sure that I'm walking, that I'm getting 1% better in that area and that affects my professional life when I'm developing these speeches and I'm talking to you guys, right, on the camera. Like my mind is clear, right, because I, I was engaged in exercise and activity. Kingpin habits are, are extremely important for those of you who want to hit a metaphorical strike in your life. Have you guys ever hit a strike before? Well, if you've ever bowled or you've seen bowling, you know that a strike means when you hit all the bowling pins in one go, right? And that's the same way it is in your life and your habits. You can go and hit a strike in your finances. You can hit a strike in your relationships. You can hit a strike with your friends. You can hit a strike in your spiritual life. If at the end of the day, you are prioritizing, maximizing every area of your life by first prioritizing the habits that move the needle the most and, dis and getting rid of any habits, that's not helping you. You gotta identify your kingpin habit today. Cause I love hitting strikes. When I go bowling, man, it feels so good to hit a strike. So if you wanna hit a strike in your life, if you wanna hit a metaphorical strike, look, I'm telling you guys, look, wake up, get to work, stop making excuses, right? Because on the other side of that kingpin habit, there's a version of you 
that's going to continue to grow and to become a person. You just, you striking up a scene in life. You're going to be so good that they can't ignore you. And so when I wake up in the morning, guys, my goal is to be the best person that I can be. And I'm just trying to get 1% better. Look, I'm not making these videos to impress y'all. I'm making these videos to remind you that you have to continue to try to grow by pro prioritizing the areas in your life that have the most influence, right? And we're talking about Kingpin today. If you enjoyed this content, would you please go ahead, like, subscribe, and leave a comment and talk about what are the Kingpin habits that you're gonna be working on? Because I just wanna hear from you guys and see what you're working on to see. Now I want you to identify what those Kingpin habits are so you can go ahead and knock them down and get a strike in your life. Stay awesome guys and remember, this is Reino Victor signing off saying, I am a victor, not a victim, and so are you. So go ahead and have a great day and remember to keep on going and striking that kingpin in your life today. Peace.